I shouldn't be drinking this. I should not be drinking this, but I'm drinking it. Everything you want, I go pull up all. You shake you down, make you pull up all. Me say it's play, I don't fake. Concentrate on the game. Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. Um, so it is just another day. It really is another day, but I feel like it's the symbolism <laughs> the symbolism of it <laughs> it's symbolic like it's i feel like it's a chance the way that i see mondays and how things go in chronicle chron chronological chronological order in my mind like whenever i want to start something new i usually wait until like monday if i want to have like a cohesive time frame to when i want to do something i like to have like let's say for example the last 10 days of the year i wrote down in my um journal wrote down all of the dates and then i wrote down like all the things i wanted to achieve up until that point and then make sure that i left a space to journal because i liked to have that 10 days specifically it that's just how it works in my mind so i feel like the beginning of the year the first of january is like a fresh start for so many people that wanted to start things i don't think it's necessarily about resolutions and things like that i feel like when you have decided on something you say okay 2023 is gonna be my year you know things are gonna be different you know i feel 2022 was a ride a ride like i was one of i was on the list for one of god's strongest soldiers last year i don't know if any anyone else felt like they were on the list but i was on the list for those people because Woo! <laughs> I suffered. Shame. It was not easy. It was not easy. I mean, there's so many things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for having graduated. I'm grateful for have having met so many amazing people that are still in my life to this day. So many amazing people that I met in Cyprus. Um, I'm so blessed to have left with my degree and um with so many amazing memories and so many great 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 people um I'm, I'm very blessed for so many things but like it was hard like it was not easy like when i look back i haven't got had the chance to go through my journal for last year yet i've just been holding it off because i know that i was a whole mess from the day that i started writing in my journal to the end of the year i i but i really do want to go through it and see how the trail of my emotions were just so i can have like a new a newer perspective to just see you know how fleeting emotions are that's the amazing thing about journaling is how one day you can be amazing or one week you can be great and then the next week you can be feeling like crap so i i don't know i, I don't know if i want to go through like a rundown of my year for me but like i feel like it was very very difficult year for me for so many reasons i mean obviously one of the reasons was going through like a really horrible breakup um yeah i feel like i'm at a point whereby i'm finally over that breakup i'm like over the person i moved on like i'm i've gone through like all the emotions and that for me i don't know you know when you really think in your mind that you're gonna be this like I'm just I'm just I'm gonna go there because it's, it's something that I feel like I want to talk about you know when you really feel like you're gonna be with somebody and it's not like a delusional feeling like I was not delusional I genuinely felt like I was so very like in love with this person and I wanted to create some type of future with them like you make plans with somebody and those plans can be very possible if both people are in it for the same reasons if both people are committed to the same thing it's just that you know when two people are looking at two different things in life and it is not very healthy place to be you have to sometimes just choose what it is that you would want for yourself and what you think is the best thing to do i mean it hurts a lot you know sometimes i'm just like you and that's it let's wrap up dating boyfriend no Husband, no, I don't want to even think about it, dream about it, see it. Every time I'm scrolling and I'm seeing people that are in love, doing love things on the internet, I'm like, so well, I wish. I wish that I'm like, 
wish for what you want to go and get your heart broken again you're mad <laughs> like i i genuinely i'm trying to be open-minded um i feel like i'm just on this i want to be single for the next five years thing you know but you know god if you want to bless me i'm 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 yeah eh? i have a lot of love to give i have a lot of love to give and i think this this time around i will not be blinded to a lot of things i will not i will not just be moving with my eyes closed let's just say it like that i feel like i gained a lot of confidence in myself um over these past couple of months that i've been home that i've been able to spend a lot of time with myself a lot of time reflecting and a lot of trying to be a certain person a lot of this a lot of that a lot of this and i feel like one battle that i've been struggling with for the longest time is just coming to peace with the way that life can just rapidly change the way that you don't have any control over what's going to happen the next day or the next day or next month or the next year you don't have much of a control i mean all you have really control over is your actions and the way that you process information and the way that you like deal with things and the way that you go through your emotions and stuff and it's not easy it's really not easy but i just feel like that's one thing that i was like there's a lot of things i want to do differently for myself this year there's a lot of goals that i have a lot of things that i for these past couple of months i was just taking a break like i had to take a breather find myself like ground gra ground myself to be able to make rational decisions to be able to say this is what i'm doing abcd da, 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 da. one thing that i'm very proud of myself though i've been very consistent in is working out like i have been on beast mode like every single day i'm like i gotta work out i gotta work out i gotta work out that's one thing that's been really keeping me sane um and just journaling and just finding peace in so many things and being by myself which is something that i really really needed for a while i feel like there's a lot of people that don't understand that like sometimes it's okay to be by yourself and to shut yourself down for a little bit so that you can jump back out and be like okay i had a little breather now i'm i'm back and i'm out again like i think a lot of times people interpret that as you being depressed or you know not being yourself and things like that and i'm like you know human beings are ever changing and we're not all the same and we all don't process things in the same way and i think that um instead of over explaining myself to people and over having to explain no this is this and this i just kind of just accept it i was just like mm. anyone can have their opinion of whatever but at the end of the day i know the reasons why i do the things that i do i know the reasons why i'm doing this the way that i'm doing it and i can say like it actually helped like it was actually something that was beneficial for me now that i can come back into the world <laughs> and um i don't know like put myself out there again like you know dealing with a lot of anxieties that i've been having a lot of social anxiety a lot of holding back um which is something i really had to grow out of um but yeah like i just i just wanted to give like a quick update like how what this year means for me i feel like i really wanted to start things off on a very positive note so i really really tried my hardest the last couple of months of last year to get myself together like to just be on zero and just you know try my hardest but also like try to keep a flow but like i was not swimming <laughs> i wasn't swimming i was floating <laughs> i was floating for a while now it's like okay girl time to kick your legs you know and just move so i just wanted to give myself as like an example of you know taking a hold of your opportunities and understanding how fleeting time is how fleeting emotions are how fleeting just anything is really like nothing is constant and stagnant forever you know what i'm saying and like i just feel like taking control of your life is the most amazing and beautiful thing that you can do and it's okay if you need to take time to just ground yourself and to be on zero and to be down for a bit and to just lock yourself away like it's fine as long as at the end of that 
you don't do that forever by the way <laughs> at the end of that you get out of that rut and you push yourself and you take a hold of all the opportunities and everything that life has to throw at you because life is is life is good like life is is existing let me say it like that life is existing it's it's being present it's being here it's being able to make decisions and choose what it is you want to do i mean some decisions are harder than others but at least you know we have that thing of being able to choose um yeah so like i just you know wanted to give a message of don't hold yourself back um take a hold of of any chances and opportunities that you get you know don't waste your potential as a human being whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is you want you feel like you want to try you want to succeed and just try it try and do it like you could what can you lose like you know i always think that to myself like what can i lose if i do if i do this thing that i feel so scared to do or i feel so anxious to do or i feel like it's not gonna work or i feel like this or this and this as if I, if i don't try how like no and that's one thing that led me to being this person that i do so many things like i will do music and i will do art and i will do youtube and i will write and i will read and like really really dive myself into personal development and things like that and and i focus so much on working out like taking care of my body and taking care of my mind those are things that are so very important to me things that i enjoy and i think the more that we spend time doing things that we enjoy the happier that we can be as individuals i know that sometimes it's, it's easier said than done sometimes your situation and the way life is for you might not be able to allow you to have those little times to just do what it is that you need to love but trust me in 24 hours you can find the time like this is why i waking up at 5 a.m for me is such a huge thing because i get to wake up before everybody before it's just me and the birds me and just the sound of the birds and everyone is sleeping and i'm able to take like two three hours to myself completely to myself I'm able to do so much in those hours whereby I feel like I've done so much. Like I feel like, okay, I can even take a nap in the afternoon knowing that I, I worked on myself today. I worked on my mental health. I worked on my physical health and it was actually very beneficial for me. I feel the difference in myself when I consistently take care of my mind and my body. And I just, yeah, I just wanted to give this message that, you know, try your hardest to find time for yourself you know let every day be worth it you know like that's one thing i always think to myself whenever i'm busy doing things and of course sometimes i have my lazy days and i just want to sleep it's so great to take a break sometimes but it's also so amazing to work so hard and push myself and do things that maybe when i woke up in the morning i was like mm, can i really do this and when i do it when i do eventually do it and i achieve something i feel so much better about myself it's hard and it's a process but it's very possible so yeah like i just really hope that you guys' year is beautiful i hope that you achieve everything that you want to achieve i hope that you have big dreams don't dream little go above and beyond and and reach and take whatever it is that you want without hurting anyone in the in the way by the way that's very important don't don't be don't be Hetzing people along the way now. You got to be serious. You be serious. You know, spread love and light and you know, move with your best foot forward. So yeah. 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 Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um again, happy new year. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing, amazing year. Thank you guys for watching.